We start in the cave from the last episode. Grace and Hazel awaken from a long sleep, or so we think. Hazel had been up for a little while, actually. She claims that Grace not only drools, but she also had some bad nightmares. At her bag, Hazel starts to control her turtle ability, going in and out of claw mode, as I'm going to call it. Grace is scared of this, but Hazel isn't that concerned, as Simon isn't there. Grace notes it too and wonders where he went. Just then, a huge serpent comes into the cave and it is ready to eat them. However, they are saved by Amelia. Grace isn't falling for it. However, Amelia tries to explain she is there to help them. The explanation doesn't come out well, so she just offers them some eggs. Hazel jumps at the idea, but Grace needs more convincing. As Amelia is cooking the eggs, she tells about how she needs their help. The eggs are finished, and Hazel devours them, saying that they are the best. Amelia is not buying it, but Hazel says she knows they are the best. This reminds her a bit of Ulrich, who she describes a little. When she mentions Ulrich was lost, Hazel immediately gives her a hug. This scene is just so wholesome. Breakfast is cleaned up. When Amelia reports the car is to be ejected, Grace wants to wait for Simon, to which Amelia begrudgingly waits. They step out and try to find him. When Simon does show up, he warns them of Amelia and proceeds to attack her. This doesn't work as she is protected by a force field. The field comes from her belt, which has the same squiggle as the apex and the old conductor. Simon is appalled at this, as that is a sacred symbol of the apex. Amelia then notes the same sine wave is on all of their faces. Grace explains this is the mark of the true conductor and those who believe in him. Amelia just laughs though, as they are describing her. She then plays along, pulls out her voice modulator and states, Did he sound like this? Grace recognizes the voice right away. She then asks if Amelia remembers saving her. Obviously it's not coming, and she wants to get on with her mission. She goes on to the next car, waiting for them. She then turns to Simon with a look of, Don't mess with me, boy. With her gone, Simon tells Grace she is not an ally, and they must leave. Grace is a little confused, though, as she doesn't seem like an enemy either. Simon mentions she went back to the cat. Grace is a little upset about this quickly turns to gain his confidence. Simon goes along with Grace into the next car. It's a very simple design. Two cliffs with a deep pit between them. The pit then slowly fills with blocks, going off in unison, saying, Hey! Ho! Whoa! Once again, slimly justifying the name of the car. As the pit is empty, they wait for it to refill. Amelia seems to be playing with Hazel. Not very well, but still having some fun. Grace then joins them to discover the truth. Amelia was a passenger, but she didn't like how 1-1 one -one ran things, so she took over. She attempted to make a car to get her old life back, but it never happened. When fixing the mess, she wanted to eject the cars. However, 1-1 one -one wanted the cars quarantined instead. All throughout the story, Simon childishly interrupts by saying, It's propaganda, don't believe it! Grace pays no attention and asks if Amelia is a prisoner. Amelia does her laugh again, saying the little peanut can't control her. She just wants to make amends and also get off the train. Simon can't stand this mental reconditioning and yells, Why would anybody want to leave the train? To which she says what we've heard all along. The numbers show how much you are growing as a person. If you have a high number, you are doing it wrong. Simon breaks in, saying the train is theirs. Grace wants Simon to back down, but Simon isn't hearing this, as she's already been brainwashed. He then goes to confront Amelia. She simply states, Have you ever considered that you've been wrong? <laughs> of course not! You're a child. This triggers Simon, and she attempts to beat her. She isn't having it, though. The shield stops him, and Amelia says, she will give him to the count of three before she puts him down. Simon is reinvigorated by this and starts the pounding again. Grace tries again to stop him, but to no avail. This then sends Hazel into crying. 
as they are all present, she screams. They all stop and stare at her. No one seems to care, though, until Grace pretends to be surprised. Amelia puts it together. She is the glitch that's corrupting the cars. Personally, I thought Hazel was Grace when she was younger, but it turns out she was meant to be Ulrich? As for the number, that was Amelia's number when she made Hazel. Amelia says she will take care of her, letting Grace and Simon go. Simon jumps at the chance, but Grace doesn't want to leave Hazel. There is a quick glance at Simon, to which Grace yells, I'll leave when I want to, no. Simon applauds this, but Grace feels dirty. She proposes a compromise, that they will wait until the hole is completely filled. Simon is quite disturbed by this, but oddly enough, lets it go. When everyone is asleep, Simon goes to see what's on Grace's tape. First, with the vial, filled with the retrieving robots. He tries to grab the film, but, but this doesn't work. He then runs it through the cube, which acts as a projector. The scene that plays is of Hazel being afraid that Simon will kill her, to which Grace says it will be a secret. This goes back and forth, to which Simon starts crying at it. And that is where the episode ends. This is another one of those episodes that is painfully relatable. The idea of different philosophies very much echo the state of politics. Either a friend or an ally. And if you attempt to make peace, you have been corrupted. Meaning you are no longer a friend to either faction. Then, if you try to disprove either faction, your facts are proven false, because the other side is always correct. Outside of that, I am very surprised that Hazel Turtling wasn't that big of a shock. It was more of a, oh, that's a thing. And I was anticipating a, I trusted you! I treated you like a person, and you are not. You are a null, and you know what we do to nulls. As for that last scene of Simon crying, when I first saw it, I thought it was Simon acknowledging that Hazel has feelings, almost like the most dangerous game. In reviewing the footage for this vlog, though, I think he's crying because he lost grace. Not only the mentality of the Apex, but in trust. That seemed to be his biggest problem when he was talking to Samantha in the last episode. I am very curious to see how Simon will react to this. I have a feeling, though, that Simon and Grace are going to come to blows. Will you join me next time?